And tonight we're going to be doing our tubing around section. We were going to do it last week, but we kind of got a little distracted and we kind of forgot, <laughs> which on this show is always happens. We, we tend to distract ourselves quite well on this show. But uh, tonight's uh, tubing around section is, video is a uh, video that uh, Medusa found at the uh, site called the Atheist Hub. They promote other videos and so forth. So we're going to play that video right now. Now, today I'm going to be talking about morality. Um, I know it's an issue that's been touched on by a lot of other atheists, but I think it's worth um, hammering the point home until it's made properly and until the fundamentalists in this world get the picture. Now, despite the ingrained guilt of religious belief, if a believer does something truly wrong and guilt-worthy, that guilt, if any, um, that they feel can be unjustly removed in an instant by asking God for forgiveness. Uh, even the guilt that isn't instantly removed, they can still rest assured that God has taken care of it. They know that no matter what they do, God's forgiveness and unconditional love is theirs. Now, is it just me or does that sound dangerous? Whereas atheists realize that if they do wrong, that's entirely their own responsibility and their own fault. And the video that we just saw... It was uh, brought to us by the Closet Atheist on YouTube. So give him uh, a shout on YouTube and let him know you heard him on the show. And we invite the Closet Atheist to come on the show and ex talk about, a little bit about this video and tell us a little bit more about it because it was done really well. It's actually a little, the, the the video itself is actually quite a little bit longer. It's about seven minutes long, but we're only going to feature about a minute worth. And that was uh, probably the best minute worth right there. The Closet Atheist, if you're out there, Come visit us out here on the show. We'd love to have you as a guest out here at Peck and Pokes at. Uh, just get in touch with us um, on YouTube, and uh, we'd love to talk with you. Uh, Medusa, what did you what, now? Since you found this video, would you tell us a little bit about what you about it? I just like the topic of uh, Christians being able to get away with murder, literally, by saying Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And everything is forgiven. I just don't believe in that type of morality, as the speaker was saying. You have to own your own mistakes in this life to grow as a person. I just don't think Christians, they're not fully mature. Taking responsibility for your actions shows that you are a mature individual. If you are unable to do that, You've got a lot of growing to do, mm -hmm. and you you can't get away with murder saying, Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works in the real world. In the real world, you're put in the slammer, and they execute you. Yes. That's how it works. That's how taking responsibility for your actions functions. So that's what I found interesting about the, the video, how he was ideating those uh, thoughts. Yes. So. You know, what's interesting is that this this video was made shortly before out in Pennsylvania a family had uh, had one child die from because they wanted to pray over the child instead of taking to the hospital and then they had a second child die and because they prayed over that one too and so they they're not taking they didn't take any responsibility for their either one of those children because they wanted to leave it in God's hands and, and they should go to jail and they yeah the first time they were just put on probation. The second time, they've just now they've finally taken away the rest of their, their seven other children. You know, but anyway, that's not about this. The point of this is the fact is that Christians don't generally take responsibility for their actions because they will be looking for using Jesus or God as an escape or a, a way out from what they're doing. A spiritual out. Right. I mean, yeah. Not not all Christians, but a good portion of them. Some people, some of them take responsibility for their actions, but a lot of them don't. And they will use God as an excuse to get their way out of whatever wrong they've done. 